So language learning has been my favorite thing for a relatively long time now. And I have tried to learn some languages in the past. Obviously, I learned English because my native language is Japanese. And I lived my whole life, like whole 21 years, in Japan. And uh, my relatives are all Japanese and speak only Japanese. And my friends are 99% Japanese and speak only Japanese. But I learned English somehow, which is another story. But anyways, I've tried to learn uh, English, Chinese in college class, but I, I didn't really pick, pick it up. And uh, I tried to learn Korean because I got into K-pop, <laughs> which sounds kind of ridiculous, but you know, I tried to some learn some Korean. I mean, I learned the letters, but never learned to speak very well. And uh, I've taken a Portuguese class last year uh, in school as well, but I didn't really pick it up because there's no chance to talk, just to actually practice it. But yeah, that's about it. And none of it didn't really stick except English. But uh, right now, I'm learning a new language. I've recently started learning a new language, which is French. And this one, I have hope in it, like I'm confident that I'm going to be able to speak it, say, like in a year or so. And the reason for that is that I am moving to Quebec, Canada, actually this month, and I'm going to spend this whole year 2023 in a city called Montreal where the majority of people speak French so if I like it or not I have to you know speak somewhat of French to survive and I'm learning it now so that's why I'm confident that I'm gonna be able to speak somewhat of French until the next year and uh, one thing I like I mean I love about learning a language is that whenever you learn a new language learn to speak or understand a new language you get to connect with more people than you used to be able to you know what I mean obviously you can understand uh, what they're saying in that language you're learning after you learn that language and you can consume contents in that language as well you can read books in that language too and uh, music too I mean in terms of music you you don't really have to know the language language to enjoy music because it's more than a language but you know you can experience uh how do you, how do you say it expense it, no experience it fully you know to the fullest am i saying right so yeah that's one thing very cool about it i mean i felt that way especially when I learned English. When I started to understand English, you know, my life literally got better. Like, I like living a life more than, than I used to. English is such a weird and special language because the majority of good contents, like movies, music, and all kind of stuff that 
most people around the world enjoy is in English. I am very proud of myself to have watched Breaking Bad all in English in the original language because it's such a great series, you know. I uh, have just finished watching Better Call Saul and the season 6 was amazing literally mind-blowing and music as you might know i am a big music nerd so i am so glad that i got to understand the meaning of lyrics of my favorite artist it's like nothing else knowing another language other than your uh, mother tongue it's so special that I can compare it to anything else. And it's such a powerful thing to be able to multiple to be able to speak multiple languages. And in theory you can have conversations with anyone else that speak that language. How cool is that? Especially when you're from Japan. The fact that Japanese the language Japanese is only spoken in this country and the fact that more than 90% 90% of the people here only speak Japanese is crazy I mean I talk talk about it all the time with uh, my friends who speak English but Japanese people are in the shell in the bubble of Jap Japan that the culture called Japan. It may be too much to say, but we don't know nothing that is happening in other countries. I mean, Japanese people are so conservative and very unique and old fashioned in a way. I started to feel like so only after I learned English and I got to experience uh, the, the culture in English everyone should be bilingual you know until very recently I thought that is impossible but but I found out that the Montreal is very bilingual city and I kind of thought that the idea that everyone should be bilingual isn't that impossible a great example is uh, a city like Montreal they speak both English and French at least in downtown Montreal from what I know I'm I'm so excited to experience what the city is like and whether people are actually bilingual or not I mean I'm not saying everyone is bilingual but um, from watching the videos on YouTube and stuff, you know, some people are actually trilingual or even more, you know. How cool is that? I love languages and as well as that, I love people who speaks, I mean speak more than one language. And I tend to make friends with people like bilingual people both Japanese friends and foreigner friends for example friends that I still hang out from high school are and uh, most of them are bilingual and people I get along uh, online are always bilingual people I get along who come from other countries to Japan are also kind of bilingual because sometimes they are learn they're they're trying to learn Japanese so it's always fun to talk with them so yeah that's about it that I wanted to say in front of camera in midnight on a random day of April hope you enjoyed me talking about random stuff uh, 
I really appreciate your comments. If you have any thoughts about what I said in the video, I really like reading comments from strangers online about something that I said or did. It's it's very weird and fun. So yeah, make sure to do that. See you in the next video. Hopefully soon. Bye bye.